Where, I ask you, are our people going to get this, if not from you? That's my closing thought. The world and all kinds of institutions have agendas for our people and how to make their lives better. One thing they need from you above all, and that is to spread into their lives a passion for the centrality and the supremacy of God. Nobody else is helping them with this. We get one hour, maybe, a week. I was in Detroit. I don't have a television, so I'm kind of out of it. You can use names of really famous TV stars, and I won't know who you're talking about. So I get no problem with watching football on TV. I, I, frankly, I borrow TV sometimes, but I don't have one just because that's one of my weaknesses, you know. So I'm, I'm in Detroit airport, and you know the Detroit airport. If you've ever been there, they get these gigantic screens with the TV up there, and it's Sunday, and oh, I forget who was playing. They looked like the Green Bay Packers. Oh, it was Green Bay. Like I knew something. It wasn't the Green Bay Packers. Just <laughs> yellow and green, some other team. And, uh, and so they were playing, and I, I said, cool, got 10 minutes to watch this. I like good football. Mm. And, and probably out of those 10 minutes, six were advertisements. Now, the quantity is not the problem. It's the crap that was in there. And, and then I hit, it hit me. My people are watching this. Three hours worth. One hour of it, or an hour and a half, is junk. It's consumerism. It's materialism. It's sexual titillation. And I just sat there thinking, I'm feeling dirty right now. I'm feeling tempted right now. I have thoughts going into my head right now with that neckline and that stuff. I didn't want that. I don't need that. I need God. I got to stay pure for my people. And our people are going there over and over again, saturating their minds. So my point is, who's going to help them? Who's going to help them see God? 